Hi, welcome back to Paul's Stuff. Um, normally the place where I talk about all the things I love, lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. Today is about lightsabers, but it's one of the, one of those uh, sort of technical help videos. Um, now, as you can see, I use a Mac to um, to work on my SD cards for my Xenopixel lightsabers. Um, and there are some problems that specifically arise when you're using a Mac to work on your Xenopixel SD card. So this is quite a specific video. It's about using a Mac and the problems that can occur with the SD card on your Xenopixel when you use a Mac with it. Um, so uh, the, the, I've had recently a couple of questions about a problem that occurs with um, the um, with accessing the fonts on the Sabre uh, if you're using a Mac to, to work on the SD card. So what happens is when either you're going forward by using the button for four seconds or backwards by holding the Sabre off, when, when the Sabre is off, holding it down and twisting it to the left, um, you scroll through the, the font menus. And um, what happens with a Mac is that when you get to the end of the menu, there are like some blank um, sound fonts on there. They don't have any sound. Um, they sometimes have uh, like a red fire blade. And sometimes if you're scrolling backwards by holding the saber down and twisting it left, it will actually turn the saber off. Um, now these problems are, are generated by um, what are known as hidden or ghost files, which the Mac puts onto the SD card uh, while it's writing all the other files to it. So um, if I pop in um, an SD card, here it is, popped up on uh, my my left hand side of uh, right hand side of my screen rather, um, labelled as blank. Now this is an SD card which has all of the standard files on it from the Xenopixel lightsaber. So when we look at that, it looks exactly the same as if you were working with it on a um, on a PC, but if we press shift command and full stop now we've got two additional files that have popped up look here on the left hand corner um, these are the hidden or ghost files um, and these are what are causing the problem with um, with the, the uh, font menus on, on your SD card if you're using a Mac with your Xenopixel. So we need some way of getting rid of them. There, there, there are these two. It's likely that there are others scattered throughout these folders as well that we can't see at the moment because the folders aren't open. Um, so I'm just going to hide these again by pressing Shift, Command, Full Stop. So normally this is what you'll see when you're working on it that command just brings up those hidden folders. And so we want to get rid of those. Um, and the best way that I've found is using an app from the Mac App Store called Blue Harvest. Now, if you go to the Mac App Store and you search for Blue Harvest, um, you'll find this app. It is paid for. You need to pay $12.99 US for it. Um, but for me, it's been more than worth paying that in order to get uh, the proper functionality back on the SD cards for my uh, Xenopixel lightsabers. So you go there, you buy the app, you download it onto your Mac. And then you, do, you put your SD card in as normal, do all the work that you want on it. Um, and then when you're ready to eject your SD card, rather than ejecting it, we we'll go up to uh, the icon for the um, for the SD card, and we'll two finger tap on it as if we're going to eject it. But rather than clicking on eject, now we have uh, another item in this menu which says clean using Blue Harvest, and we're going to click on that instead. 
And when we click on that, we'll get a dialog box come up. And you can see this has actually removed 54 hidden files from this SD card. Um, all of these were hidden on that SD card. And they're what's causing the problem with the font menu when once the SD card is back in the Sabre. If we double click on or two finger click on there again uh, on the icon and clean blue, with Blue Harvest again. Now we'll see it's not finding any of those anymore. There's just the the items in there that are the, uh, the that are supposed to be there. So now we can go ahead and eject that SD card. Um, we can get rid of the blue harvest box and that's everything done. Um, what you'll find is now when you put your SD card back into your um, back into your, your Xenopixel lightsaber, it will function as it is intended to. The menus will go through. When you get to the end of the menu, it will go back to the first font again. Or vice versa if you're going backwards. So that's uh, the best way that I've found to deal with these hidden or ghost files that are causing problems with the, the menu uh, function, font menu function on the uh, Xenopixel lightsaber. So I hope that's been helpful for you quite a quick little video today if you if you have found it helpful I'd appreciate it if you give the video a like um, and also um, if you'd consider subscribing to the channel um, there's content like this I do saber reviews lots of content about Star Wars some other other things as well um, but mainly Star Wars so if you're interested in that sort of thing um, then please consider giving the um, the channel a like as well um, so just once again, um, the app that you need from the App Store is Blue Harvest. If you type in Blue Harvest into the sunk punk, um, into the uh, search function, it's the result that will come up, um, and that's the app you need in order to to clear the the uh, the hidden files from your SD card. I will leave a link in the description of the video as well. Um, but for now, um, that's it for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.